This video is on setting global fonts. What you want is a scenario with your website where if you want to change a font or change the style of it or the thickness of it or the color of it, you really only want to do it in one setting. There's nothing worse than having an entire website where you go, okay, I want to change the font and you did it in each individual module. So if we open up these modules and this tutorial will come later as well, but if we open up these modules, there is a typography setting where you can individually set fonts. Now you'll see here it's set to default, all right? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna pick up the global font and that's what you want. Otherwise what happens is if we set it in here and we picked, for example, we'll pick this one. So you can see that the font changed, it's set to thin and we set it to bold, right? Now, if you go through your entire website, you've got to do this one and then this one and then this one and then any other font that's on the website, which is not ideal you want it done globally in one setting. So we're gonna go back, put this back onto the default setting and back onto the default setting there and save it. So controlling fonts globally, go to customize. Under general, you'd think it would be under header, but it's not, that's under that styling. So go to general and then go to headings. Now, these are my settings. I do this, I do this generically across all websites and your website will be set up this way as well, where I set this heading to 50. I do 1.5 and then 0.5 in here all the way down. So I go, From 50, I jump down to 40. 1.5 is the separation of the space between uh, this line and this line. So we put something really um, exaggerated in there, like 10, for example. Sorry, that's on a heading. We'll do that on a, um, we'll demonstrate that on another. So 1.5 on here, 0.5 on here. So now we've got 40. Now we want to go 30, 1.5, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the spacing between the letters. So this is uh, not controlled here. This is what we're controlling here. So if we put, for example, uh, this is an H2 heading, I think. So if we were to put, for example, in here, five, And then you can see that it's put a lot of padding in between each letter. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back to customize. Sometimes you have to save the page in order to see the change. And then with other settings, you can actually see it as you're doing it. So go back down to uh, where it was. I'm going to go 0.5. So you can see it changing. Now it's put a lot of space in between here. We go up to three, it's gotten even wider. We put it up to five, it's gone even wider. So obviously you wanna pick something that doesn't look a bit sticky. So I'm just gonna go back to 0 0.5. So 50, 1.5, 0 0.5, 40, 1.5, 0 0.5, 30, 1.5, 0.5. This is all gonna be set for you when you get your website. Jump down to 20, 1.5, 0.5. Now we've got a font of 20. Now we want to go 18. And then we want to go 16. Those are my personal settings. As a web designer, I very rarely tend to there often. Now for the styling of the font, we come back up. It's set to Altivica. So let's go and pick something. We can search for a font in here. Go lateral. Now, if you watch the font on the right, now we've got font where let's go ultra bold. Okay, so you can see your font changing and you can see what it's changing to. Now, this is heading font only, it's not description, which is done in another setting. So we'll go back to, I'm just going to go normal and I'm going to pick. 
says open sans. And then I'm going to go semi bold. And then regular is pretty much how the font appears. Capitalize, if we click on that, it'll capitalize all the text, which is not going to show up until we publish uppercase and lowercase, but I'm just going to go regular. So this is where you control your font color. So if we went black, for example, you can see it went jet black. Personally, jet black on a computer, I like to go a little bit off, just go up a little bit. So it's not a full on dark black, but if we hit red, for example, you can see it changing and blue. So this is what you want. You want a global control. So this is headings only. So we're just going to go back here, go back here and this is another popular font. Font weight. It's going to go semi bold. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit publish. Now, if we hit this arrow and then come down to text, this is where we're addressing this guy. So I normally keep my body text at about 16. I find 14 is a little bit squishy. 1.5 here. So you've got a little bit of breathing space. So if you watch what happened, we go zero, it's all squashed up. We go five, it looks a little bit ridiculous having that much space. This is your line height between here and here. So we're gonna try one, too squishy. Let's try two, a little bit too much space. Let's try 1.3. Okay, maybe 1.4. Uh, yet again, picking your uh, your font, okay, and then your font weight. Now, not every font weight has all the settings. So Georgia has light, normal, and bold, okay. But if we went back to say, pick another font. This one's only got normal. If we picked uh, lasso, for example. Then you've got all of these. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to um, tone that heading down a little bit. So I'm going to go back out, go back to headings, and I'm just going to make it a little less harsh. Now I'm going to hit publish. And that's how to control your font in a global setting. Most of the settings that are in here, apart from menus, you're never going to have to touch. So generally font and maybe a menu, but we'll get to menus a bit further down the line. So that's how to set your font globally.